Hi, my name is Nathan. Today we are going to talk about machine and implement offsets. Let's get started. As you can see here, we are on a 2630 display. We will select the menu button in the bottom right, the GS3 Green Star button, the Equipment tab on the right hand side, We will select our machine type, our machine model, our machine name, and the connection type. From there, we will go to change offsets. On the top of the screen, we will either choose between the front or the rear axle. We need the non-steering axle location. Now you will see we have A, B, C, and D. On the bottom, you get a description of what each letter is supposed to represent. On the right hand side of the boxes, you will see that all the values are to be input in inches. So A is the lateral distance from the center line of the machine to the GPS receiver. B is the inline distance from the non-steering axle to the GPS receiver. C will be the inline distance from the non-steering axle to the implement control point. And D will be the vertical distance from the GPS receiver to the ground. Once we have input these values, we will go to the bottom of the screen and push accept. From here, we will move on to the implement settings. So on the top, we will select implement one. We will select our implement type, implement model, and implement name. From there we will select change offsets. Once again we have the A, B, C, D, and E. One thing to note on the implement setting page is that to the right side of the box is some of these values are to be input in feet, some of them are in inches. So that's something to pay attention to. A will be the inline distance from the connection point to the front of the implement. B will be the inline distance from the front to rear of the implement. As you will notice, A plus B will equal the documentation slash section control location when those are being used. So it's important when we are using section control and documentation that these values are correct. C is the lateral distance from the connection point to the control point of the implement. D is the inline distance from connection point to control point of implement. And lastly, E is the inline distance from the connection point to connection point if we are pulling a second implement. Once we have input these values, we will select the arrow in the bottom right hand corner. From here, we will go back to the home page. Note, one thing I like to do to see if I've input these values correctly is to look at the picture of the tractor and implement on a mapping page. If it looks correct, you chances are you're, you've input the values correctly. Thank you for watching. Connect with us by subscribing to Precision Ag Answers on YouTube and following RDO Equipment Company on social media. Visit rdoequipment.com for more precision ag resources and solutions.